Hello everybody and welcome to another Houdini tutorial. Today for some more Vellum Basics. In this lesson we are going to be inflating our little rubber toy here. And it's a very simple procedure in Vellum to do this and it takes only one Vellum dock node to do so. So we're going to dive in and show you how it's done. Right now I am playing back um, or cooking out my little animation and we're going to see how we inflate just so you can get the general idea. So we'll get, wait for that to start and then we'll get into the lesson. And we're back! And you can see over time, Flippy gets big. And there's one way to do that and we're going to dive right into it. So, going back to the beginning, the first thing you'll want to do is to jump is to drop down a test geometry. I originally started with Tommy, but you can pretty much use any geometry you want. I'm using Flippy the rubber toy. I haven't translated him at all, and I'm keeping his shader on so we can see more of the effect the Vellum system has on him. I'm also subdividing him so he has more polygons and he's a lot smoother. The next thing I've done is added a Vellum cloth node, and the one way you can do that is by dropping down a vellum configure cloth right there. There's really no settings on it that you need to change. Uh, everything else should just come in naturally. You shouldn't have to change any of the stiffness or anything. The next thing you'll want to drop down is a vellum solver. The vellum solver is where all the magic happens. By going to the vellum solver, you can see that we've turned off the gravity so he doesn't go down. We've also, if you jump over the solver, everything's pretty normal here, but the only thing we've turned off is the ground position. So we no longer need a ground plane. Diving inside, we have the one node that does it all, which is called the vellum constraint property dock. Inside it, you can see I've done an animation. Um, and just for comparison, we are gonna drop down a vellum constraint property, just so you can see which options I've turned on. So you can see I'm using the damping, dampening ratio and the rest length scale. You can also see on the default setting, if we were to turn them on, that they look a little bit different from the default settings. So over here at the beginning, because he's inflating, I've just ramped up the rest length scale and I've kept the dampening ratio the same. If I was to go to the very end of the simulation, you can see I've cranked up the dampening ratio and I've increased the rest length scale. So by doing that, you can have Flippy grow. And we'll just play him back so you can see it one more time. So yeah, going forward, you can see Flippy slowly inflate. And he's got that little ripple to be like, oh, he's a balloon and he gets bigger. And that's pretty much how you inflate something in Vellum. The last thing you'll want to do is remove all your attributes besides your velocity and add an all. And that's pretty much it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Kate and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.